New at 10 rural communities often come with their own set of challenges, one of them being public transportation. Our Rick Dorsey got a chance to sit down with staff for Midland's Easy Rider to explore how they can better serve the community. The Permian Basin has a need for public transportation, but not because it's not available, but rather the public is unaware of the service offered to locals. Awareness that public transportation is available, and that's been the, the biggest obstacle we've had is making people realize that those bus stops and the signs and those big vehicles driving around are actually there people's public transportation system. The busing system is also inclusive to those who have additional needs. Smart, but our paratransit is uh, a curb to curb service for those that are disabled, either physically or mentally, that can't ride the regular system. So if you're within three quarter of a mile minimum of our uh, regular fixed route, we provide service in the city limits. Overall, the goal of Easy Rider is to provide transportation to the Permian Basin at a convenience for the everyday rider. If they're looking for transportation, there's a lot of ways to contact us. You can go online, you can uh, pick up tickets at a lot of different places. HEB sells them, uh, City Hall sells them, both colleges sell them. Uh, so there's a lot of places to buy tickets. Uh, we're working on a system right now, as a matter of fact, uh, and we're still kind of in the 20th century on uh, paying for tickets, that it's still cash or buying them in person and we still have the swipes, but we're working on a, a touchless card system. Uh, you could use a debit or credit card or Apple Pay or smartwatch to pay for your rides. Reporting in Midland, Rick Dorsey, ABC Big Two News. And for more info on how to obtain tickets or for a look at routes near you, head to yourbasin.com. There you can also read more about all of tonight's top stories.